Hi everyone. Um, welcome to my channel. This is Dina from Montreal. Welcome to my humble abode and also my working from home office, I suppose. So I just finished a long day of work and um, decided to come and talk about my last book. And I finally figured out what was the problem with my microphone. I filmed so many videos back to back when I had time, found out no sound whatsoever. And yeah, I forgot to charge my microphone, which is not great. So for someone who works with technology, yeah, that was a user error. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk at least about the last book I've read and um, get your opinion, maybe if you can comment on it. And hopefully in the long term, we'll be able to start a book club together and read some random books. So normally I like to read mystery fiction, um, thriller, sometimes comedy, romance, like, hmm. but I don't like uh, horror books and I don't like dramatic books and I don't like boring books. So there. Can't get better than this. So the last one of the last books I have finished was um, Last Seen by er, by Rick Mofina. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, the book I rated it at two and a half stars, I believe, or two point seven five, because uh, the book rolled around perfect family, kind of, but not so perfect. So it's a husband, wife, and a son. Um, Cal Hudson. Faith and Gage, their son. And Cal is a crime reporter. Uh, Faith works into some kind of not important office, job, whatever. And their son is nine years old. So they go to the carnival, their son gets kidnapped. Uh, so then the police gets involved. And like it was the horror, the horror ride. And that's where he gets the, where he disappears or gets kidnapped, and the police gets involved, FBI gets involved, uh, etc. So the mystery in itself is good because um, you actually don't know who kidnapped him because not all the characters are present in the first few chapters, so you cannot narrowed down this is like one of those things where you have to go through every character to know who did it so that's number one where it's like it was a good mystery for that but it was not good because first of all i hate when they take it one day like the 24 hour thing where you start in the morning and the events during the whole day to try to tell you like each day counts blah 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 i understand but for me that makes it so redundant because the questions you're getting from the cops, the evolutions, the trips, the whole thing, it just seems to be straining and so long. But that I didn't like. I did not like that child being kidnapped um, aspect. I mean, I understand when a child disappears like a crime, you know, and then you're 20, 30 years later, you're investigating the crime of that child who disappeared. There's some kind of closure to that. But a child that gets kidnapped, uh, I don't like, like, it makes it so, I finished the book just to know what happened. And, yeah, so that's number two, the child thing. And number three was the ending was abrupt. So uh, it builds up the story, but then the ending is so ramble kind of style. Which, like, with all the events of the book, there is no ramblingness into it. So if you are introducing a ramble at the end, build up to it, right? Um, so that's why I did not like the book very much. I finished it. Like, it's hard not to finish because you want to know what happened. For me, it was, like, boring as well. Oh, yeah, I listened to most of it. I found it on my library as an audiobook. So I listened to some of it on the audiobook as well. So that helped a little bit to get through. Uh, yeah, so it's good to listen to an audiobook because that's how I got through it. It wasn't because I read it, I got through it. 
So I only like stopped, I don't know, like uh, page 100, 400 or something. And then I just read in the book after uh, to get the end of it. So that kind of made it. That's why I finished the book, basically. So, yeah, if you have read the Rick Mopina, let me know what you think. If there's a favorite book, let me know. I would be more than interested to know um, your, what's your recommendation. But for me, it was a new author because I am on a journey for new authors this year. And um, I don't think I would be getting another book for him unless you guys tell me that it was good. And I hope you comment and let me know if you did read for him. And if you didn't, let me know what you think of my opinion. I mean, that's my opinion. Maybe other people read the book and enjoyed it. So we're all different opinions. And that's why it's very interesting to watch commentaries on books. Because everyone has different imagination, different perspective. Everyone builds up the characters differently, the world differently, even though we read it all the same. It doesn't show the same in our head. So I learned that the hard way. So anyway, let me know what you think. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for making it this far. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you can follow up the journey. And maybe uh, you can just... Let me know your journey and I'll follow up with you. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful night. And I'll try to video, uh, make a video for the other ones. Uh, the other couple of books that I finished, uh, one of them was the Inheritance Games, which is very, was very popular. I think it is still, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I bought the other two. So um, I think I might try to make a video on it. All right. Thank you. And... Have a good day, good night, good everything. Bye.